Meanwhile, the White House press briefing got heated yesterday just as the cast from Ted Lasso, the TV show, showed up for a visit as a reporter accused the press secretary of ignoring him. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Okay. What you are doing, you are making a policy of the first amendment. It's been seven months. You've not called on me. You've not called on messages. I'm saying that that's not right. That's not right. On times, welcome, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the press briefing room. All right, please welcome Jimmy Fallon. He hosts Fox Across America on Fox News Radio and Fox hey. Nation joins us right now. Good to see you. So right at the beginning when they had these these uh, very famous guests come in, yeah. she got embarrassed because the guy in the way back decided this is a good time to, <laughs> to air his grievance. I think like a lot of Americans, I was actually shocked to see the cast of Ted Lasso there. I mean, right. were all the transgender TikTokers booked? Like, how did they get the gig? Uh, but for one other reason, too, is Ted Lasso is a show that on a commendable level right. highlights the importance of mental health, right. which I'm surprised they prioritize given that you'd have to be crazy to vote for these people again. But stick with me, Mr. <laughs> Ducey. What he was speaking to in that moment, and I heard them yelling about decorum and everything else, right. is there's a genuine lack of frustration by true journalists who aren't getting a lot out of this administration. You can argue with right. his tactics, but they're constantly being denied access. Last week, what were they told? We, they, they complained, the press corps complained that they right. never get to ask Biden questions, and she goes, Oh, you'll get to ask questions at the bilateral meeting Friday, which they did, but he didn't answer them. Right. So he's like, hey, I didn't say you'd get answers. I just said you'd get to ask. And here's the thing. Uh -huh. To that point, so many of the reporters, and I know one of them, uh, he sits up front. Uh, <laughs> so many of the reporters ask great questions. Yes. And then she turns to the big book of answers and just reads what she's going to read. Yes. Doesn't answer the question, just says what the communications department wants to say on that issue, which is not particularly satisfying sometimes. No, we were told they were going to be the most trans transparent administration in history. Right. This administration thinks transparent is a man who has a baby. Okay, let's be clear. Here's the issue, okay? KJP, and this is where I feel bad for her, because I don't doubt she's a nice woman. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I love the green, the power dress yesterday is the fashionista in me. It really got, she got me. I was on her side. But understand, she didn't sign up for this. Traditionally, when you're the press secretary for a Democrat president, it's very kid glove treatment. You know, what's it like being so awesome? Right. Aren't we so fortunate the Republicans are gone? And then you go do a magazine shoot and you're done with your day. The fact that she's now being pressed from time to time and we're seeing, some genuine intellectual curiosity from people besides that kid with the great hair who sits in the first row mm -hmm. is something she didn't really sign up for. So in a way, I think she's frustrated too. Well, and the reporters are frustrated because, you know, I think there are 65 chairs in that room mm -hmm. and uh, some of the smaller outlets are toward the back and do not get called on as often. He hardly ever gets called on. Mm -hmm. uh, after the cast from Ted Lasso left, mm -hmm. uh, the press secretary had some words for the room. <laughs> This is the White House press briefing room, a historic room, a room that should have decorum, a room where folks should respect their colleagues and respect the guests that are here. What has just occurred this last 10, 15 minutes is unacceptable. It's it, it is unacceptable. So we're gonna, so we're either going to continue the briefing, or we can just end the briefing right here. Whoa. The, the, I'll turn this car around, kids. That was unbelievable. Um, man, this is the one thing I come back to over and over and over again. There's never a specific response to the complaint. It's always a generalization. You guys are bad. Right. Ultra MAGA. The, the reason we're in this situation is this president has given less access to the press than any of his predecessors by a margin of about five to one. Mm -hmm. So in a lot of ways, she's become kind of the target for the frustrations they have with him. He's the guy that could clear this up, but they're not trotting him out there anytime sure. soon. Sure. There, there was one good answer uh, that Ted Lasso, Jason Sudeikis, actually gave because one of the actors from the show who uh -huh. plays a reporter on the show yeah. got to ask a question, and oh. they had a funny. It was a funny <laughs> interlude. But here's, here's the thing. That, as I watch this, and I know we're short on time, Jimmy, uh, in the last administration, I don't remember there being a lot of complaints about decorum. Thank you. I was going to say that. Tell our friend Kaylee McEnany about reporting 
reporters getting out of line. I mean, come on. That was a, a food fight. She had to wear a poncho to the podium every day. <laughs> Give me a break. But there seems to be a double standard. To your uh, earlier point about Democrats versus Republicans, when it was Donald Trump, you mm -hmm. know, it was a, every day was a food fight. The Trump press co co uh, briefings are going to be like Dean Martin wrote someday. You're going to buy them. <laughs> They're all here. All the insults. All the reporters. It's going to be great. Jimmy's funny stuff. Oh, you're the best. Thank Thanks. you very much for joining us live. I like that jacket. That's just a fashionista in me. There it is. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.